did you know that you can use audio layers to edit your audio? What's an audio layer, you might be thinking? An audio layer is multiple layers of audio all within the same track. Now, I was recently editing a video that I'm making for you guys. I messed up in something that I said, and I wanted to replace the dialogue. Well, I'm going to use layered audio, another layer in the same track, to fix it. And I'm going to show you guys how I did it. Let's check it out. So first, let me show you the problem area. Here's where I was talking about timeline backups. And as I was talking about it, I'll just play through this part real quick. At the end here, I say project backups when I should have said timeline backups. So we need to replace that audio. Check this out. Here's what it sounds like first. I've save here is not turned on. It'll still save your project backups. So right there, save your project backups. That part should be save your timelines. So I want to swap out some audio. Now I did say time save timelines back here. So I want to grab that piece of audio and put it on top of where I said project backups because I messed up, right? So in order to do that, I could delete out this clip, but I don't want to delete it. I want to use audio layers. So let's turn on our audio layers and I'll show you how to work with them. The first thing we need to do is come up to our view menu. Oh, by the way, I am in Fairlight right down here, musical notes at the bottom. So come on up to your view menu and we want to come down to show audio track layers. Go ahead and click that. Next, you need to come to your timeline and come on down to layered audio editing. Go ahead and turn that on. So now we've got the ability to have multiple layers of audio, multiple clips of audio, all in one track. So let's just zoom in here. We're going to find the piece of audio where I say save timelines. So I'm going to come here and find that. And then we have timeline backups. So what the timeline back. So right here, I want timeline backups. That's the part that I want. Now that I found the part that I want, I'm going to just zoom in a little bit more here. I'm going to use my focus mode tool, which is this guy right here. I'm going to select the part of the audio that I want, which is from here to here. And when I use this focus mode tool, it's only selecting the dialogue that's on that track, right? Whereas if I use my range selection tool here, it would select everything in all the tracks. The focus mode tool will allow me to select just this section here. And then I'm going to use command or control C to copy it. And then I'm going to come over here where I have my audio that I want to replace, which I believe is right here. And we get a little preview here of how big that clip is, right? So if I come ahead somewhere right about here, let's say paste it up here, command or control V. And now you notice it appears above my original clip. So I can just come back and select my other tool and deselect all this. Can clear my range by using option or alt X. And now what's going to happen is because I have my audio layered, I'm all in the same track right here. Whatever piece of audio is on top is the audio that will be played. So right now I want to replace where I said project libraries with timeline backups. So let's just try and line these guys up. Is not turned on. It'll still see timeline backups. All right. So bump it over a little bit. It'll still save timeline back a little bit more. Save your timeline backups. It'll still save your timeline backups. So that works out pretty good, right? I could just put the right audio on top of my audio where I messed up to fix it really quick and easy without having to cut out any of the audio. Now my video doesn't match, right? Because obviously I didn't copy the video part. So in this case, if we play through and we watch my video down here, it's not going to line up with my mouth and what I'm saying. Still save your timeline backups. So we could do a couple things here. I think in this case, I'm just going to fade the video out or take away, you know, my picture there. So that way it doesn't matter if my voice matches the video, right? So to do that, I could just jump back into the edit tab here. And because our audio layers are still on in the edit tab here, I will see my multiple layers. And remember, whatever is on top is what it will be heard, right? So the other stuff didn't get deleted. It's just underneath. And you're only going to hear the audio clip that's on the top of all of your layers. So let's say I wanted to fade out my video. I might do it right here. I'm just going to select my clip, open my inspector. I'm going to come to the composite section opacity. I'm going to add a keyframe. We're going to go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 frames and I'm going to drop the opacity. So now here's what it will look like. This is that it will work even if live save here is not turned on. It'll still save your timeline backups. Okay, so it's a little rough there. I still need to blend it in a little bit more. But you get the idea on how we can use audio layers here in Fairlight 
to be able to just replace dialogue if we need to. Maybe we said the wrong thing, you messed up like I do because I mess up all the time. Audio layers is a great way to be able to replace audio without having to delete anything or take anything out of the timeline. We can use audio layers to do it. And real quick, just to show you, once you do edit your audio layers and you're done, you can come back up into your view menu and turn off the show audio track layers. And you'll see now it just looks like another clip in our timeline here. So if I zoom in, this is the part that got changed and that's what we'll play. So we see it, it looks like another clip in our timeline, although there's actually another layer and the original audio is actually still there if we needed it. And I can even select it and bump it over a little bit to make it sound a little bit better. Still save your timeline backups. Okay, and that's good enough for YouTube and what I'm doing here. That's gonna be good enough. Nobody's gonna know that I just spliced in another clip. You'll be good to go. So audio layers are really cool. You can do a lot of awesome stuff with it. You can have multiple layers, as many as you want, I think. Really cool. I think we're gonna talk about it some more on my channel in the future here, but uh, a little something to keep in your back pocket in case you need to work with your audio. If you wanna use some audio layers. It's uh, a handy tool to know. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace. Peace.